For the latest information fast, just press text. Nine o'clock tonight on E4, Soul Catch In. Sounds like hard work. Funny Reaper. Here and now, Noel, well, those tasty offers. Deal or no deal. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. And just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Welcome to the Dream Factory. Ah, there's a strange atmosphere in the Dream Factory at the moment because we have here in the East and West Wing the biggest party, team, group, animals ever known. They've now had three warnings from the management of the hotel about the late night parties. And when you look at them, they don't look the greatest party animals, really. So still waters and all that sort of thing. That thought has driven me to their personal files. And I found a couple of very interesting secrets. And they're both about the men. One of these guys in the East Wing has a piercing <laughs> that could best be described as Australian. Down under. <laughs> <laughs> Nor for you. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you, I'll give you the answer in a while. And one of these guys was once engaged to Victoria Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's no gag, it's true. And I'll give you the answer at some stage this week. Here come the names. It's time for you to spill the beans and share your dreams. Jill! <laughs> Jill, please, take the walk of wealth. Hello, Noel. Welcome to your game. Thank you. Sorry about giving you the sore That's throat. That's all right. We won't tell our secret. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell anyone how exactly you got it. I'm dying now to see this picture. This, this looks wonderful. I'll this show you my son first, shall yeah, I? Yeah, absolutely. Go on, then. This is my wonderful just, son. Just, sorry, we're on a go slow at oh, the okay, moment. OK, right. You know, <laughs> know how it is. Some people just take forever to pick their camera up and, and put their head... <laughs> Is your... Oh, look. what's gone wrong? It's I've, broken. Oh, all right, well, let's get this out over there. Sometimes it's just simpler <laughs> to do it yourself. Oh, except I've got the... I've picked it up the wrong yeah, way. Come uh, here. Uh, right, OK. All right, and where's the bit that makes it go? All right, where are we go? Are you ready, Noel? Uh, yeah, let's get going. It looks a bit... All right, who's this? <laughs> This is my wonderful right. son, uh, Floyd. Is that out of focus? Probably out yes. of God, blimey. Sorry about that. Oh, that's better. This is my son, Floyd. He's a really lovely young man. Yeah. Um, every mother's dream of a son. He's very respectful, hard-working. He's lovely. <laughs> and no, you know, everything looks so different through it. Oh, who's this? You need this? to zoom in. This is my lovely daughter, Tonya, with her dad. Oh, I think maybe you better do it. Oh, right. Good okay. try, good try, Noel. Yeah, thank you. Who's this? This is my lovely daughter, Tonya. Mm hmm With her dad, Tony. And uh, Tonya's here. Tonya's Hello, here. Tonya. Hi. Hello. Two lovely children I've got. Very proud of them. 
And this is a photo I love. It's of fantastic. Of my it? mother when she was three. Hasn't been with me for a few years, but she would have loved this. She loved her television. She loved to gamble. <laughs> so I take after. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she would have just loved to have been here. But she's here somewhere. And so you've touched on it straight away. You are a gambler. Yes. Love it. Absolutely love it. You make no secret of it. No. So over there, when you were in the West Wing and you were asked your opinion and you always said no Did, deal. That's it. Didn't want a deal at all. No. That was not for the banker. That was not a no, front. No, no, no. Not at all. It is the real you. It's the real me. <laughs> this is going to be a great scrap. This really is. It says here, you absolutely love Las Vegas. I do. You describe yourself, in fact, as a Las Vegas addict. I do love Las Vegas. I've had, I've had Elvis impersonators singing to me when I've won something, and it's lovely. It's magical. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like Brighton, really. Very much, yes. Yeah. How long have you been in Brighton? Uh, 64 years. Right. That's how old I am. <laughs> so do you think you'll move? Not from Brighton, no. No, not from Brighton. I love it there. So when you're not gambling, what do you do? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> I still go to bingo every week. I do the lottery. I'm always gambling somewhere, you know. I just think this is great. I want to crack on with this. Anything else that you think the banker ought to know about you? Oh, I don't know. We'll we get to that later you on, will shall let we? let it unfold. I need you, please, to confirm, Jill, that you chose box 22 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. He... <laughs> you feeling lucky today? I am. No, how lucky can you get? I've got my own TV show with 21 beautiful co-stars <laughs> hosted by your good self and the infamous Mr Banker. And look at the support group I've got. It's brilliant. <laughs> well said. Oh, Jill, good luck. Good luck, good luck. I haven't got a system, no. Um... One or two numbers I like. I've always liked number two. Whether I keep it right till the end is another thing, and that's two two, so that might be lucky. So I'm just going to go with numbers that don't really mean anything to me as they are. And first of all, I'm going to go to my friend Shaz, number three. I've got a really good feeling about this game, so we want a very strong opening five box round. Away you go. Good luck, Jill. Thanks, Shaz. You've been a lovely friend. 15,000. Not the best start, but... Wrinkled nose. Yes. Ruth. Number four. Good luck, Jill. Thanks. Well. Right, Justin. Number five. Good luck, Jill. Thanks. 35,000's gone now. Hmm. It's quite neat, but I don't want any more reds. It is quite neat, isn't it? George, number 13. I need to get you out of the way, George. Come on, Georges. Good luck, Jill. Thank you, darling. <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't need that, did I? Phil, number seven. Good luck, Jill. Yeah, fine. I know you've had a lot of blues. There might be another one. I hope it is fair. Oh, oh, my God! What? 50,000. Oh, wow. Well, the ace gambler <laughs> has had... The nightmare opening round. Oh, there's still some nice sums. Yep. <laughs> Certainly are, but that was horrible. Hello, banker. Oh, oh listen oh, to I this. Can, hear Look, him. can you I hear that? Yes. <laughs> you want to tell me a story? You got up this morning, and they told you Joel was going to play, yeah? Bless you, you started to feel sick, did you? Oh. 
Well, he was feeling pretty ill when he found out about you playing today uh, because he's never ever been so convinced in the history of the game that if you had the quarter of a million, you were going to win it. Mm. Totally convinced. That's a shame, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, he's reveling in this chill, as you would That's expect. That's right. I expect him to. You know, he's so used to the fact that people come here and they say no deal, no deal, no deal, whatever, but he can see through it, he says, but he can actually look into your soul and see that you'd be telling the truth. Mm. You are a no dealer. Oh, how about that then? You'll appreciate this coming from Brighton. It's a bit gruesome, the thought, but he says, if you were cut in half, you'd have no deal written all the way through. Would I, like a rock, yeah. Yeah, like a yeah. bit of rock. £900. To be expected. Well, it is, isn't it? <coughs> Taking out I mean, three that's, of the big ones. It's not quite up there with the worst ever opening round, but that is just horrible, taking out three of them. <coughs> Makes it easy, though, Noel, doesn't it? I would have thought it simplifies your decision. It certainly does. Point. Yeah, certainly does. So you'd like a question? I would, please. £900, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Reg, number nine, please. What did you think of that opening, Reg? Not very good at all. No. no. Let me get you back onto a blog. Thank you, Reg. It's very kind of you. Bless him. He's great. Oh! 3,000 pounds. I thought you said blue. Wrong again. Sorry, Jill. That's all right. I'm drawn to number six, but that's the newbie. I'm just wondering whether I should go there. No, I'm going to go with number six. Really? Karen. Yep, Karen. It's got to go at some time, so come on. I'm sure you've got a blue. All right, we want to see the end of the curse of the newbie. Thank you, Karen. Good luck, Jill. Thank you, darling. <laughs> from Curse of the Newbie to the Kiss of the Newbie. Right. Um, number 15. How Paul. are you doing this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not working properly. <laughs> no, 15. It's just what you're feeling at the moment? Yeah, sure. All right, Paul. Let's keep you amongst the blues there, John. Box number 15. Don't do anything to it. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee because of my She friend. needs a cup of coffee, you see? I'm turning psychic. I could tell that you needed refreshment. There still could be a hundred thousand pounds here. There still could be seventy-five thousand. And I guess either of those would please you. Wonderful. Absolutely. Come back and see Jill, the ace gambler, deliver the big money. See ya. Game. I've been looking forward to this game. I really, really have been looking forward to it as much as you. And uh, the banker has not been looking forward to it. But at the moment, you are giving him a lot of pleasure and a lot of freedom. And we need to give him a reason to start bringing up the money. You chose Paul. I did. But I shrieked and stopped him. But you're still going there. I am. Okay. Yeah. Seal's still intact. Paul, will you complete the opening of box 15, please? Good luck, Jill. Thanks, Paul. I like red. <laughs> well, you do. And it's funny, isn't it? Uh, 5,000 normally people just go, yep, yeah, that's OK. No, it's not OK. But unfortunately, because of the big holes at this end of the right-hand side, it's not OK. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he says, Paul pulls out 5,000. Normally people go, oh, that's all right, and they applaud. But he says, the pilgrims are afraid. Well, that's not very frightening noise. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds 
sounded like the wind in the willows. <laughs> you know what Paul would like to buy if he wins the quarter of a million. <laughs> we said in jest. <laughs> he has told everybody that he's fascinated by the whole uh, boob job thing. And if he wins enough money, he's going to have one just to see what it feels like. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes, he's, he's very thrilled with your respect and the fact that you've got such lofty plans for his cash. <laughs> Thank you. OK. Now, of course, you've given him every opportunity to now be as minxy and provocative as he wants. That's fine. And he now would like to really find out what sort of gambler you are. And he's offering you £8,000. It's good. Now that really is good. That's a good offer. He wants to know how much of a gambler you are, John. £8,000, looking at that board, is is a really good offer because there's only four above it and a whole lot below. But it's very tempting when you see the four above. Um, so you can ask me the question, no. <laughs> Eight thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. Much respect, but no deal. So hope you can hold on to those two big ones. So do I. Because the longer you can hold on to those two, the more interesting the battle with the banker is going to become. Where are you going for the next Well, story? I like number two and I like to be number one, so I'm keeping clear of those at the moment. Um, Does that apply to Jean, who is a mixture of the two? I'm saving Jean, yeah at the moment. Uh, Debbie... We're, we're saving you for later, Jean. <laughs> right, no, that's fine. Right. <laughs> Debbie, I'd like number 17, please. Good luck, Jill. Thanks ever so much for making me and um, the rest of us feel so welcome when we got here, so... Lovely. Good luck. Hope this is a blue. I'm looking at Nicola, because she's a fellow gambler, although she keeps it quiet, No, <laughs> Number 14. Um, you so always seem to be giggly. She always seems to be laughing. Yeah, she's a happy soul. Very best of luck. Thank you, darling. Um, I think I'm going to go with number 10. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you think it's a nice blue one? Yeah. Yes, of course. She's very yeah. sweet, isn't yes, she? Yes, she's lovely. Very yeah, sweet. Lovely. Good luck, Jill. Let's hope Thanks. this follows the trend. One more blue and I'm all right. Oh. It certainly follows a trend. It's the yeah. early trend. Now, in terms of the whopping money, we've just got a one-box game. Well, I'm going to believe that 75,000 is sitting there in box 22. Right, you like number 22, don't you? I like number 22, and I believe 75,000 will be there. Can you put a good word in for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he says there's 10p in there and there's nothing we can do about it. No, he's wrong. Um, he's looking forward to the woman that he thought he was going to fear walking out of here with a tail between her legs and a low blue. He is now offering £4,000. Right. Your last offer has been halved. Yes, but I did take the 100000 out. Well, that's the critical key box. But the law offers make it quite easy for me now. It's all quite easy at the moment. Yes, it is. It's hard reality, but it's easy choice it for is. a gambler. It is. I'm a gambler, but I'm not a fool. 
but £4,000 is good money, don't get me wrong. I've seen people go out with a lot less, but you can ask me the question. £4,000, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, no deal. Thank you. Number 11, please. Good luck, Jill. Sorry. Well, it's kind of all right. You're right. <laughs> Except we want to hold on to all the reds we possibly can at this stage. Thousand pounds. Gosh, this is hard when you're sitting here. You think it's going to be so easy, don't you? Um, Steve, number 16. Good luck, Jill. Thanks, darling. Right. Is that the turnaround? Ken, how do you feel about your box? No feelings? Could no. be a blue. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with Ken, number 20, please. OK. But Ken... You say it could be blue, it could be red. Right. And do you know what it couldn't be? Purple. <laughs> Purple. It couldn't be opened until after the break. <laughs> but come back, it might be purple. We are determined to get you to the crunch point. What's the crunch point? We've got to get to that five box with 75,000 still in play. Are you still going there? Yep. Ken, number 20, please. Okay, Ken. Ken, surprise us. <laughs> Ten pounds. Pull out a purple. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you got six blues. Reveal one of them. No! Oh, no, Ken. I told you not you, man. And now, the most you can win is £20,000. We all come for the big money, but put it in reality, you're going to take them out at some point. Um, once the quarter of a million's gone, we know we're not going to do that. I would have thought I could have had an all-blue round at some point. would have been nice. But not to worry. Well, I think you're marvellous the way you're saying that, because <sighs> he's just going to be totally impossible in this court. Every single round. You give another boost to his confidence. Hello. Do you know what he's saying? Do you know what? He objects to me saying that he's going to be totally impossible. Do you know what he's saying? He's never been totally impossible. What he might well do, however, is just have a itsy bitsy teensy weensy glass of champagne and maybe one of his caviar canapes and possibly roll around in his piles of money. But apart, mm. apart from that, quite subdued, yeah? Oh, he's getting so arrogant now. He's calling everybody losers. Yeah, he would do. And you're leader of the losers. Right. Two grand. Well, what else do you expect? She keeps taking out the big ones. Two thousand pounds now. I can't believe it. 8,000 was the maximum we got to. Halved, halved. Tonya, say something. <laughs> no. You know what you're going to do, Mum, anyway, yeah, so... I'm um, do you want to come down? Do you want me to? Yes, please. Oh, come on, Tonya. Good game, then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready for the question now. £2,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> All blue round. We have had a run of games where we've had...
we've had strong finishes and now you are dependent upon that. We really have to have an all blue round. Okay, looking at number 12. Drawn to the two again. Yes, number 12. Mark, six blues. It has to be an all blue round. Give us the first one. I've been here three days now and every game I've been has turned at the end, so let's just hope it turns. Yeah, that's good. Sarah, 19, please. That's my birthday. 19, yeah. Can you do a blue? I oh, really hope it is a blue. You're a lovely lo woman and you've got a lovely daughter too. You're a very lucky girl. Here we go. Definitely a blue. This one's important. This is the one that's really important. Yeah. We have to manufacture a 20,000, 10,000 pound end to this game. This has to be blue. Torn between 18 and 8. The Chinese class 8 has been the lucky number to get rich. But I don't know if that's going to work with me. 18, my mum and my grand's birthday. And I think my mum's watching me, so I'm going to go for you, Andy. 18. Andy, give us that all blue round. You're a lovely lady, Jill, and I hope this is blue Thanks, for you. Andy. Oh! Just I can't do it. And now, all or nothing. All or peanuts. We are left hoping that something extraordinary mm. has happened, that 20,000 has come to live on the table again this week. Three in a row. He's still got to bear in mind. You're a gambler. Hello. Good, thank you for agreeing with me. Games can turn, as Mark said, yeah. challenging offer. He's asking what you think is a challenging offer and he's making the point there. Four blues and one red. So the average is about £4,000. Oh yeah, but that would have to be more than that, you say? It'd have to be more than the average, Jill yes. said, yes. I, I think we're, if we're talking about a deal, I think you're going to have to go higher than the average. I know you rarely if ever go higher, but maybe you'd like to make a special <laughs> exception in this case. Despite the 10,000 going, he has decided to give you an excellent offer, and he's actually going up from 2,000 pounds. Which he underlined was fantastic. Bear in mind you took the 10,000. Yeah. He's now offering you for box 22, two and a half thousand pounds. Okay. Well, I was never going to get the big offers by what I've done to the board. So really, that makes it quite easy for me, Noel. So you can ask me the question. This is amazing. This is amazing. I would normally feel the need, with the speed that at each offer you've reacted, to, to be saying to the player, be cautious, think about it, two and a half thousand, you know. Yeah. It's a chunky sum of money, isn't it? Yeah, it's well, fine. It's a very nice sum of money. Yeah. But uh, your mind's made up because you're here play the game. I am, definitely. Okay. okay, two and a half thousand pounds, Jill. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> oh, don't know, don't ask me. It happens every now and again where we really do get a fantastic climax and justice, and it would be fantastic to turn the tables on a banker who thinks the game was over 10, 15 minutes ago. Derek, you've got a nice purple shirt on. I know you're not going to have a purple number. But number one, please, Derek. I do hope this is a low blue for you. Thank you, darling. Just a blue. Blue. Yeah. Jane. 
Number 21. Okay. Has to be blue. Still get the battle that I wanted from the very beginning, the point at which the banker has to try and read you and you have to decide whether it is that moment to fold them. Every great gambler knows when to quit. But we're only going to get to that conversation, we're only going to reach that stage if this is blue. Two features in my life quite a bit. I live at number two, I was married on the second of the second, I met my husband on the second, goes on. So um, I think I'll keep number two till the end and I'll go for number eight, Margaret. Oh, please be a blue. Good luck, Jill. This has to be blue. It has to keep all our hopes alive that we are going to get a gambling climax to the game. Not 20,000, Margaret. Open it. You have been so unlucky for the first time in the game, we now have a gambling decision. This, I do not believe, is going to be an offer that you will be able to simply go, no. Hello. Oh, he's saying he doesn't believe that everybody in this room believes that 20,000 could come to the table three games in a row. And another thing he thinks is in his favour is he made an early prediction that you'd be going home with a blue and that blue would be 10p. So he's feeling very confident. He's got to go with the average to even tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's really, really quite stroppy there. You really didn't. <laughs> oh, wow. That last comment. Well, he, he was sounding really quite uh, respectful. Up until the point you said, <laughs> give me 10 grand. <laughs> it's eight and a half thousand. Yeah, it's worth an, ooh. It's a good offer. Ooh, ooh, eight and a half thousand. And in a game that has dealt you no lucky twists no. and turns, no. it is your highest offer. Yeah. You have had eight offered, but now that is the highest offer. Yeah. So it does give you I a know chance. I which box the 20,000 in, you say. Ah, you do know which box yeah. it's in. And if he'd have given me the average, it might have just tempted me. Right. But he's gone eight and a half, which is very, very nice. You don't want me to ask you, do you? Don't ask me, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's completely your game. I know. I think I'm ready, now. Jill, eight and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> deal or no deal? Now I'm a guy. No, but I'm not a fool. Here we go. 10p or 20,000 pounds? That's 10p. You're convinced it's 10p? Mm. So you've sold a 10p box for eight and a half thousand yep. pounds. Yeah, lovely. Are you Brighton's number one saleswoman? No! Oh. Well, you had me convinced. <laughs> no, I'm very happy. Eight and a half thousand pounds is wonderful. And at this moment in time, that will go great in my bank account. Extraordinary. Hello, Laura. Could you please open box number two? There it is. Oh, absolutely fine. 
Well, I feel slightly cheated because yeah. undoubtedly anyone who'd been following your progress in the West Wing, they would know that we were going to have a big gamble yeah. here. We were going to have a big game if the, the money stayed in it. But no, I generally would have, you know, if I had the board there, I would have gone all the way. Yeah. I nearly went all the way. I've got eight and a half thousand pounds. I'm very happy. Yeah, OK. Well, that's good stuff. Jill. Okay. Thanks very much. Have fun with the money. Yeah, thank you very much. Eight Nancy. and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> There we go. Have a look at this. Three times in a row. Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday. This box has come to the table. Incredible. But it's a game of chance. It's a game of luck. It's a random game. Will it come tomorrow? I think you'll be there to find out. Bye-bye. Well, up next, Doctor Who's and Torchwood's Martha. She's with Richard and Judy.